Hi there, it's Angie. I'm just coming on to show you what I've been doing over the last, I don't know, two or, two or three days on and off. Um, I've been playing with my brush shows and my Tonic Studio shimmer powders. Um, I do have a, a preference for the Tonic Studio ones, but I don't have many of those. I think I've just got about four. They were in a kit, like a, one of their, you know, their special offer kits. Um, the first thing I did was I got a piece of paper, just a piece of, I think it's coffee dyed paper, actually. Um sprayed a little bit of water on it and i and i put sprinkled on some of this it's one of the nouveau ones and it's is it meteorite shower um, and this just splits into so many different colors as you can see here i did also put a little bit of the brusho gray on just because i wanted to know what the color was because i couldn't remember so the gray bits like around there that's the gray um it probably looks a little bit more blue on camera but it's more of a teal color um that was actually the front but i prefer the back because this bit here is a little bit more um dulled but i mean look at the colors in there you've got yellow you've got red orange you've got green brown purple you've literally got every color so pretty so i just quickly did that and then um i took i've got some of these um like calico fabric and they, they're just um off cuts and i wetted it um not i mean i didn't soak it but i gave it a, a fair bit of water and i used the sea green um sprinkled it over or put it over wetted it again and obviously it's come out quite it's one of the more solid colors and then i did i did put a little bit of um one of the tonic studio shimmer sprays over the top um, I haven't got that out to show you, but it's just like a, a very, very pigmented um, shimmer spray that you spray. Um, and it would be this here. You see like this sort of reddish brown. So the piece that I've already cut up, it I sprayed it on a bit too heavy and there was very, very big areas of the, the, the gl like glittery brown red spray. And I'll show you what I did with those in a minute. Um... But yeah, I mean, just I put the these this gold flex. That's another shimmer spray. Again, it's all the Tonic Studio shimmer spray, and I just I just um, unscrewed it and just you know like shook a few drops on with the the applicator thing. That not the applicator, you know, the spray tube thing. I just dropped a few bits on. Um, I'm not quite sure where that blue came from. <laughs> or the red i really don't know it must have come out of the green because there's nothing else on there so that's a piece i haven't um done yet and as i said i on one of my pieces of cloth i put too much of the like reddish brown on so i got some more another piece of fabric and i mopped that up you can see the glitter in that it is just so glittery so i, say, I haven't done anything with that yet and then also the same again mopping up I was just wiping down the tray afterwards. So I've got two nice wet wipes that have got a nice colour on as well. So what I've been doing with the cloth is I was die I die cutted some of the leaves. So as you can see how how much more sort of red they are than the green. But I've just used just cheapy um China stamps, uh, not stamps, um dyes. Um, these are the dupes of the Tim Holtz skeleton leaves and they just cut out really nicely. That's one of the more green. There's a little bit of gold on there. So that's what I've been doing with those. And then with the scraps, I can't I can't stand to throw the scraps away. So when I'd cut all my leaves out of that little piece, you're left with all sorts of little bits. So I've been stamping. Oh, it's upside down. I've been stamping on them, just different little things. So you can use it on tags and tickets and labels and all sorts of things. I just love these. I love anything scrappy like this. That was an edge piece. Um, some of the edge, like one of the edges, I purposefully didn't take it right to the edge because there I like stamping like words and things on the edges. And I like the contrast between like, sort of like coloured fabric and also having some that hasn't been 
so coloured. A bit like stamp. That's a nice piece. So I did those. And then I still had some really, really, really tiny little pieces left. Just really scruffy pieces, but I just couldn't bear to throw them away. So I just stamped some little words. Quite a lot of them say notes because that's the smallest one I've got. And also probably one of the most useful because you can put that on all sorts of things. So I've got like specimen notes i think grow um and seeds i've got so just literally using all my little scraps so nothing at all was wasted i had to throw away so very little from that whole piece of fabric so i will carry on and do the do the other pieces and look at that it's so nice stick that on something it's just so pretty so yeah i just thought i'd um show you what i've been making so thanks for watching. Bye.